Thank you for taking the time to foster a pet for Royce Hurst Humane Society. We know that while fostering is a rewarding experience, it can be hard to promote your foster pet to help them find the best possible home. Here we will give you some tips and tricks to help you tell the world how great your foster truly is. We all know a picture is worth a thousand words. One way to spread the word about your foster pet is through pictures. Keeping the pet focused in the picture is very important. Blurry or grainy pictures don't show off all the great characteristics of your foster. Try to snap a picture of your pet in good lighting, like near a window. While everyone loves to see pictures of pets, there are lots of ways to spruce them up and make them more creative. Timing is everything, so try to catch them doing their favorite things or looking extra cute. Pictures of them taking a nap or window gazing can really show off their character. You can also use props. If your pet loves to play fetch, snap a pic of them with their tennis ball. If you've got a litter of kittens, catch them cuddled up mid-snooze. You can also use apps on your phone like Snapchat and Instagram to edit these by adding filters, icons, words, or other cute extras to help these photos describe your foster. Here are some sample photos we've received from some of our fosters. You can see they've made great use of props, lighting, filters, and apps to show off the foster pets. Creative use of photos give the potential adopters a little idea into the character and habits of these pets. Videos are another way to highlight your foster pet. Make sure to watch out for background noises, such as people talking, loud traffic, or other interferences that may be distracting. You can add voiceovers to your videos to expand on what's happening, talk to the foster pet, or just laugh at their fun antics. You can also add music or other tracks over the top to make the video extra cute. Programs like TikTok, Canva, PowerPoint, and Snapchat can be great tools for making fun videos to promote your foster. As an example, check out this video of Matilda discussing her dinnertime demands. I want to talk to you about something. What is it? I, I don't think you fit me enough. Well, not this again. Writing a website bio for your pet is another great tool. Use this bio to talk about their best traits. Are they a big cuddle monster? Do they love to talk with you? Or maybe they are just plain goofy. Use descriptive language to really beef up these qualities. Talk about their favorite things. Do they love to play fetch? Can you always get their attention with a cookie? Or do they just love to hang out with other dogs? Whatever these things are, talk them up. However, we do not want to mislead adopters. You can discuss what some may consider negative traits in a positive way. Does your foster not do well with children? Consider explaining that they prefer to hang out in a mature crowd. Instead of calling them dog aggressive, talk about how much they love to be the center of attention with people. The most important part of the bio is making a request for adoption. Remind the reader they need to act by scheduling an appointment to adopt. Here is a sample bio. You can tell that this dog loves to play fetch and is overall an active dog. They like to be the center of attention or an only child. But this dog really loves people. The bio ends by making an ask for the reader to come and get them. You may want to pause the video here and take a moment to read the bio entirely. Another fun tool is to create a resume for your pet. Google, Microsoft Office, and Canva all have great templates that can help get you started. This is a time to have some fun with your foster's qualities. Really highlight their positive traits and personality. Make sure to choose a good photo too. You'll also want to be sure to add contact information. This does not mean to add your personal information. Put the shelter website and direct them to the Pets in Foster Care application. Here is a sample resume. Millie's resume talks about what fun things she's interested in, what benefits she would provide to her adopter, her education experience, and how the potential adopter can meet her. The resume also reflects Millie's personality through the icons and the color palette. Now that you've made all of these promotions, where do you share them? You can share them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, or any other social media site. Please make sure to use the at symbol to tag Royce Hurst Humane Society in your post. You can also use hashtags like hashtag foster pet, 
hashtag COVID companion, hashtag adopt a shelter pet, and hashtag Royce Hurst to increase the visibility. In addition to posting about your foster pet on your own social media pages, we encourage you to share photos, videos, and information about your foster pet in our Facebook group just for fosters at facebook.com backslash groups backslash Royce Hurst Fosters. We know that fostering can be a lot of work, but you're making a huge difference in the lives of these animals. Thank you again for all you're doing for Royce Hurst.